Hi, I'm Derek Kerr with Evolution Wheel, and today we're back in Albion, Nebraska, where we're doing our Pivot XT tires running on an end tower in this farm field. We're going to give you an update on how the tracking is going in the gullies and on the hills compared to the 11238 pneumatic, and we're going to show you that set of pivot tires going through the low spot that we showed you in the beginning of the season. This is the middle of August, it's August 20th. This is our third installment tracking this set of tires in this farm field. Let's go show you exactly how they're doing. Okay, so we're back in this little gully draw that we've been showing you throughout the season with our Pivot XT track. And uh, as you can see, like before, you know, a little bit of silts come in and filled in the area and the, the tires had to go through that. You can kind of see where it's, it's pushed it around and uh, push it to the sides to, to get through. Uh, track in the bottom here is probably maybe two, three inches, depending on where you're measuring from. And then if I look up and down uh, from the gully at the track, we'll show you that in a minute, but it looks like it's about uh, one or two inches. The corn cobs are full at this point and the kernels are just filling in and rounding out right now. They're almost done. I'd say we got another um, two to three weeks of filling max uh, and then we're done. Now the corn will be starting to dry down at that point and the irrigating will stop. So when we're back here in September, uh, I expect that we should be close to done irrigating and be able to really tell the tale at that point. Let's take you up and down from this gully and show you the track on the side where it's coming in and the side where the tire is going out just to kind of compare and contrast and show you where we're at at this point of the season. Okay so this is the pivot track we were just in the gully we're about 50 yards up the hill from the gully right now this is what it looks like you can see the distinctive tread pattern here um, with the tread pattern that we put on the XT tire and I'm going to say that the, the the track depth is anywhere from three to six inches depending on where you're kind of measuring from you know if I put my boot in there and, and just measure, we're probably ankle height, give or take at this point of the season. So 15 rounds on this pivot and uh, ankle depth is the track depth on the Pivot XT as it's coming out and powering up a hill. Okay, so we're now on the other side of the gully. This is where the tire's coming down into it. You can see it down there along at the end of the track. And um, basically this track hasn't really changed since the last time we were here a month ago. Uh, we're at 15 rounds now and we're about two three inch track depth here no more than ankle height a uh, little bit less track on this side than the other side which is the same as we saw before you know just because the tire is coming down and it's just gradually rolling down rather than trying to power its way out so um yeah 15 rounds month later this is where we're at with this track okay so that's how our pivot xt tire is doing in the gully and then above and below it let's go over to the next tower check out how the 11 238 pneumatic is doing in the same time frame Okay, so we're on the next tower over now, the 11238 pneumatic, and this is the track in the same gully spot. Uh, you can see that, you know, there is, there is a track. Um, right now it's full of water, so it's kind of hard to say exactly how deep it is, um, in, the, in the very bottom anyways. But looking where it's, it's coming in, it's about, you know, four to six inches, maybe eight in some spots, depending where it is. Uh, and then coming out, again, it looks pretty similar. So um, not groundbreakingly different um you know than what we're showing in the same spot over on the other tower um i'd say it's a little deeper but it's also a narrower tire uh, that narrower tire leads to more running so um this is where we're at for difference down in the very bottom let's go up the hill where it's coming in and then let's go up the hill where it's coming out and look at those track differences okay so we're uh on the hill now where the tire is coming into the gully we just showed you in the bottom uh, for the 11238, and um, this is what I would say the first real distinctive change we've seen between the two tires is uh, the track depth here is anywhere from eight to 10 inches. Um, that's quite a bit different than our XT in the same spot on the other side, um, which is you know two to three inches. So really starting to see this develop where you know that narrow tire is creating that deeper rut, um, and this is something that you know as we come to start thinking about harvest the combine is going to feel this, you know, as you, as you go over a rut like this, it's a little bit surprising to me just because, you know, this is where the tire is coming down the hill. Um, and it's just rolling down versus where the other side is going to be powering out. So I'm interested to see what the track depth looks like on that side where it's powering out and up the hill. So, um, let's go there now, take a peek at what that looks like, but yeah, eight to 10 inches 
coming down into the gully at this point in the season, 15 rounds. Okay, so this is the track for the 11-238 coming out of the gully. This is where it's climbing the hill instead of coming down into the hill. Um, you can see the track here is anywhere from 8 to 12 inches in some spots. Um, and it makes sense it's a little deeper because it's powering out. 15 rounds, this is where we're at. This is something that uh, you know the combine driver is going to have to watch for and make sure that they hit it at the right angle so that it's not going to really jar the combine. It also looks like at this point the tires breaking traction in some spots, you know, slipping going up the hill. Um, but yeah, 15 rounds. This is what we got with the 11-238 at this point of the season. Okay, so now we're in our low spot of this field that we were talking to you about earlier. Uh, it's the next day. Yesterday we showed you the tracks down here in the low spot today with the pivot coming through. A um, couple things I really want to highlight to you here is, uh, first is, is that the tires are rotating and coming around clean. That's because of the mud shucking technology that we put in the tire. Um, that's going to be the bars across the surface of it, how the tread pattern is designed, the amount of compression that the tire gets, all that is combining to keep those treads clean as it's rolling around, even though it's pushing through silty mud. The other thing to pay attention to is if you watch in front of the tire, the tread pattern blocks are staggered just appropriately so that um, they're cutting that ridge constantly so that as it's going through, there's a ridge in front of the tire, the tread block comes around, cuts it and pulls it underneath the tire so that it's not constantly pushing and pushing and pushing and then losing traction as it's trying to get through the low area. Um, the other major thing to consider is on the sides of the tires, we get asked questions all the time from customers is does that fill up with mud? and it's not. It's able to clear that material. It's not caking inside the rim, which is gonna add weight to the tire overall and make it harder on the gearbox. So those things are really important and why this tire is going through this area. This is the track. It's full of water and we're halfway through. This is about a 60 yard section of complete silt that the tire has to navigate its way through. This is really why we went with the XT in this application is because of this low spot and being able to use the tread pattern to get through, cut through. Um, the farmer on this field has had to pull this pivot out every year for the last 20 years just because of how much silt is in here. Uh, we're at 15 rounds on this field. It's August 22nd and this is how the tire has been performing. So we haven't gotten stuck yet and it's still clearing out mud and getting through with no problem. I don't expect that this farmer is going to have to pull this set of tires out and pull the pivot out and knock down his corn this year. Okay, so that's where we're at at this point of the growing season. Uh, just to kind of summarize things. Basically, the XT tire is handling that low spot really well with the silt. Uh, not only is it able to get through, but also if there's a heavy rainfall event and it's filled with silt, that tire is able to cut it and keep going as well. Um, the other thing I would say is that in the other parts of the field, we're seeing significantly less rutting and tracking compared to the 11238 pneumatics that that tire is working beside. Um, based on our estimations, we're about 75% less rutting and tracking uh, compared to the 11238 pneumatic. Uh, we're going to come back, we're going to show you how the pivot tracks end the season and uh, then we can really give you some final results. But as of right now, that's where we're at. I'm Derek Herr with Evolution Wheel. We'll talk to you soon.